Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have my second uh, Christmas haul of the season. I do believe that this will be the last one. <sighs> Don't hold me to that. <laughs> At least that's what I told my husband anyway. But um, most of these items that I uh, got were um, throughout the year. Of course, I always shop like that clearance right after um, the season is over. If they have, you know, something cute that I feel might go with my theme for that year in July, I'll buy it. Um, but a couple of these items are things that are out in stores right now. So you guys, um, I won't talk any further. I'll just pull all these items out and I'll show you what I got. So guys, let's get started with this haul. Um, I'm gonna start with Hobby Lobby and quite a few of these things I did get throughout the year. So um, I'm gonna start off with this um, lamb's ear garland. Um, if you all saw my after um, quarantine haul, this was in it. It was 50% um, off and um, I'm pulling it out again because this is my Christmas decor. I do plan to um, intertwine this with some of uh, just a traditional evergreen garland and I plan to put it on top of um, my TV stand, you know, my little faux fireplace and this was 50% off. So if you didn't catch my after quarantine haul, this was in it and I feel like um, it'll go great with the theme that I'm going for, which is um, lots of greenery, whites, neutral and like just a farmhouse rustic kind of feel. The uh, next item, and I'm still with um, the Hobby Lobby, are these uh, miniature um, flock wreaths. Um, I, at first I wanted to put these at the bottom of a vase as a centerpiece, but um, my vase is, was just a little bit too big. Um, you're gonna see that coming up in a DIY, but I feel like these will be really pretty maybe um, over um, in my kitchen on top of the uh, stove area. I'm sure I'll find some good use to them. And since I have two, it'll be good for balance, whether I put them on windows or whatnot, but they were just so pretty, I couldn't pass up. These were not on sale. I got these um, right now, um, probably, probably about uh, two months ago, and they are when uh, Hobby Lobby first started putting their things out, and they were um, $8 a piece. So keeping up with Hobby Lobby, um, I just got some um, ribbon that I plan to, I'm not sure if I'll use this for the tree or for, um, gift wrapping. Um, this year I plan to do all of my gift wrapping in the brown, just plain craft paper. Um, so I'll just have ribbon or maybe some little pig just as decoration, but I plan to keep the gift wrapping super simple this year. And I thought this would be um, great for that. Now I did get this um, earlier in the year after um, quarantine um, was over and um, they had pretty much everything in the store was 50 to 60% off. So I just grabbed it and it does have wire edge which makes it really easy to work with. Next up from Hobby Lobby, I have these ornaments. Um, they are really lightweight. They may look a little heavy, but not at all. They're super, super lightweight. And I did get these, you know, this season, so they um, weren't on sale or anything like that. But um, they're just pine, they're just, um, they have the little pigs and they're just little, they're not little acorns, but they're huge acorns. But they are sprinkled, they have a little bit of glitter on them if you can see that. But I really love the color, um, the beige, super soft brown. Um, goes right with my theme this year. And um, I grabbed both of these up. Um, maybe they were on sale, cause I don't think I paid. On the ticket it says $4.99. But I know I didn't pay five dollars for one ornament. That's just not me. So maybe they were on sale. Um, they were probably they're probably forty percent off. I can't see myself paying five dollars for each of these. That's it's just not me. So I'm pretty sure they were on sale. Maybe they were like forty percent off. Okay. So next up for Hobby Lobby, I have picks, and I got them of course in the farmhouse rustic more natural style so let's grab the ones with the little pine cones on them first and they are sprinkled with a little bit of glitter which isn't so bad not enough to be obnoxious but just enough to catch light I've got two of them 
they're really pretty and you know they are a uh, frosted white or I guess muted you know usually a real pine cone brown but I really like that it you know it's a little faded I think that's pretty and then the next picks that I got were um, these now in my previous haul I was telling you guys about the fern that I thought at the dollar store would look really high end and it looked better than the picks that I got from Hobby Lobby. And these are the picks that I'm talking about and they're not bad, they're not bad at all. But the ones from the dollar store definitely gave them a run for their money. Um, yeah, so these are, I wouldn't call them fern, I guess they're just branches and they're flocked and they're pretty and I think they'd be a great addition to stick inside my tree. I'm um, just probably like to fill in some spaces, but they were 99 cents a piece, and they're not bad for 99 cents. But yeah, the Dollar Tree Fern really gave them a run for their money. So the next store that I have for you guys is the um, Family Dollar. And uh, Family Dollar had a lot of good um, items this year. Um, it's well for my, my style, anyway. Um, keeping on with the woodsy theme. I've got these um, block pine cones and then they have the picks at the top. Um, let me put one down so you can probably get a better look at the uh, ribbon and the pick that's on top. Now this ribbon, it's like in a plaid, black and red type of color, was perfect because I do have some uh, wrapping paper that I snatched up from Walmart last year on sale that I plan to use decoratively, like wrapping boxes as, you know, um, decoration. Um, so, and put around the house. So I feel like those, those, the wrapping paper that I got, as well as this ribbon, match perfectly. The little red berries are a pop of color. I don't mind, just a touch of red. Uh, nothing too big, but it still gets that whimsy feel. So I thought these were so nice. And also, I got these, um, uh, just these three count of um, ornaments. As you can see, it has the exact same plaid um, pattern and the picks at the top with berries. And there are three of them. They were a dollar a piece. It was three dollars. Um, I, sorry. <laughs> Keeping on with the theme um, of, you know, just that rustic, old fashioned feel, um, still farmhouse and not too much color in it. So these were only $3. I think they're awesome. Another item that I got from um, Family Dollar is this hanging truck sign. Now, it only cost me $3, so I'm not mad at it, but I do plan to use it in a DIY. Um, I got this earlier this year. As you can see, it's falling apart a little bit on me. I do intend to put, um, some hot glue. I do plan to use this in a DIY. I do plan to paint the truck um, white because, you know, that's just my theme this year. More of those neutral colors. I'm trying to stick, uh, stick it back together. I know with some hot glue it'll do just fine. And I'm not so mad that it fell apart right after I got home because it was only $3. Y'all know me. I'm going to work my magic and it's going to be just fine. But um, I can't find white trucks. You know, there's always the red trucks. There's some teal ones for the fall, but when the holidays come, it's hard to find a neutral truck. So I thought for $3, what the heck, I'll just paint it myself and far, and we are gonna move on to Walmart. Okay, so I did have quite a bit in my uh, last Walmart haul, but I got some more, okay? <laughs> so don't judge me, y'all. I budget, I budget for this. <laughs> I scrimp and save all year for this. So um, I got quite a few picks. I wanted neutral, you know, I didn't want anything too bright and out there this year. Um, so these decorative picks are definitely gonna go in a DIY. Y'all know me, probably floor arrangement or something of that nature. Um, they are frosted with a little bit of gold. Not enough, like I said, not enough to really notice or stand out too much. And honestly, I could just, probably dust it off if I really don't want it. Um, so I got three of them. You all definitely will see these in some DIYs coming up. Um, this is also what I got. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it, but I really wanted to use this as a um, decorative piece. Um, and I feel like I could use it year round after Christmas is over, but it's a candy dish and I got it from the party out and it's called a pedestal dish. 
you see like this so um i thought it would just be beautiful it's like that acrylic so it doesn't get all dusty and yucky it's gonna stay clear and stuff like that but i thought this would be awesome in a diy like i'm just thinking right now off the top of my head some pics in here with the white candle one of the fake ones that light up and you just put a couple of like christmas pics like this in it i'm not sure if these will be it or another one and i or some berries i thought it would look beautiful as a centerpiece so we'll see how that is going to go and how i will use that how i'll purpose it um i got these neutral ornaments um i think they were five bucks no they weren't they were three bucks 2.98 guys so yeah they were uh three dollars and um they just it's what is this uh the jute twine nautical rope type of thing um and i feel like i have a ton of nautical rope around my home is in jute twine but for three dollars and for the six balls i, I couldn't even make up for this price so I was like, let me grab these up. I like that it has the dark and the light in it. I think it'll go great with the neutral theme, rustic farmhouse that I'm going for this year. And at $3, you can't really beat that price, in my opinion. So um, next up, I have a couple of items from Amazon. Um, and what I'll do is I'll definitely link um, Put a link down in the description box uh, for these because i really like them um now you guys know in my previous haul you saw that i got the jumbo ornaments to go on the tree and then i went on amazon and i wanted all white and i didn't feel like buying tons of packs and spray painting them and it probably would have ended up being the same price um i got a little pack of uh, ornaments and also what i like is that they're different uh textured on them and they're just little itty bitty ones and i got them off of amazon um, super easy, super cheap. I will put a link in the description box below. But those are definitely going to go on the trees. And I needed a large number of simple ones because I told you guys already we're going to have more than one tree this year. So this was a good way to go for me. Now next up from Amazon, I got um, new stockings for the kids this year to match the theme. Um, let's see. Oh, look guys. I got a headband. I guess it's a gift from the seller. That's pretty, right? Surprising. Let's see, what is this like? My name is Kristen. Hope you like the product and the gift. Could you kindly leave my product a review? Of course, you left me a gift. That's so sweet. But, um, Back to the stockings. Okay, so these were three for um, 15 bucks on Amazon, and they are burlap. And I just unwrapped them, so they're still all wrinkly and stuff. But um, so far, they look really great, sturdy. Um, if you want, you could personalize them. I have no intention of doing that. <laughs> um, I have stocking bags. I don't want to write on them, and I don't trust my handwriting at all. Um, but they're really sturdy and they're simple. I really like that that I can change them up each year with either a stocking tag or, you know, maybe put a pick on them, things like that, it's, you know, to differentiate for the children. Um, but I got three of them and they were three for a $15. Um, I think once I iron them, they will be awesome. But yeah, I really like the simple but yet nice, you know, sometimes simple is more. Less is more sometimes. So guys, that is the end of this haul. I hope you all enjoyed it. Maybe got some inspiration, some ideas. Um, it's not too late to run out and see if any of those products are still available. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.